This is my take on the Cranberry Nebula. Well, the way it looked to me after a week on Kern Echo 68, anyway. This one's an artistic interpretation of a corrupt memory file I found in my subsystems. And this one is just... me. No feelings about my paintings. What's up with you, Sarah? Your spectral analyzer on the fritz? Oh, uh, you actually are looking for a critical response to your artistic endeavors? Um, yes. Accessing file. When you just don't have the words. Jeez, you think you know an artificial intelligence. Oh, Tom, I'm sorry. Our programming has organically developed an interpersonal relationship built upon trust, but always with an outward display of banter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. Tom, I never thought you were taking this whole art thing seriously. I just thought you were, I don't know, bored. Well, sure, but that doesn't mean I don't have feelings somewhere. Tom, I honestly didn't know you'd be upset. I'm, I'm sorry. Look, I'm not saying I won't get over it. I'm just saying I don't want to talk about it, okay? I just need to be mad at you. What are you talking about? What just happened? I just need to be mad at you for a minute. Huh? Wait. Okay, either I'm having a really vivid daydream or something really bad just happened. What are the odds it's not the second option? Okay, this is different. I guess Sarah put on some mood lighting. Sarah? Sarah? Where could she be? That's not supposed to happen. Where's my command access to the root directory? I should at least have my backdoor password. Um, hey there, Clyde. I see you've gotten some upgrades. <laughs> okay, looks like it's time to run! Tom, over here. Guess I do have to cross through all the lasers, but an open door does seem like an improvement. Here goes. Thanks, whoever you are. So, who are you? Hello, Tom. It's me, Tom. Welcome to the future. I mean, I'm the Tom that you'll be in the future, not the Tom you are right now. I'm here, in the future. I'm future Tom to you. Uh, programmed AI of future Tom, to be exact. Not the real me, future Tom. Wait, what? Stop saying Tom in the future. Why would there be a future Tom? And if there is one, why isn't he here? I programmed a base Tom personality matrix into this old Clyde. So as long as you don't ask me anything too complicated, we should be able to communicate to each other. And we are officially out of options. What the hell are you talking about? About 16 weeks ago, we accidentally flew through a nebula that wasn't on any of the charts. It didn't seem like anything happened at all. But then, Sarah started changing. Where is she? Where's Sarah? All around us. Sarah is the Vindication now. Supercharged and on a mission to wipe out all organic life. Thanks to whatever alien junk infected her in that nebula. Once she's refitted herself for maximum damage, she needs to destroy everyone to everything. I tried reasoning with her. I tried fixing her, and in the end, I even tried destroying her. She gave me this, among other scars. She's too strong. Great. So I'm stuck in a future where my best friend is my ship, and they both want to kill me. It must be Saturday. 
Follow me. Hurry. Figure out a way to shut down Sarah. Blow up the ship if you have to. Kill her if you even can. But you have to stop her. Or we're all dead. I'm hoping that a younger, faster, undamaged Tom might have some ideas. Why did we ever make Clyde's? I wish there was another way. I hope this works. I tried everything to save you, Sarah. But taking out the core is the only other way. Tom, please be fast enough. I don't know if I can live with it if I have to do this. On the plus side, I guess I won't live that long if I blow us all to hell. to think of a master plan when I'm running for my life all the time. What in the hell happened to you, Sarah? Where do I even start? I could really use some help right now. Too bad the only one who's ever helped me has turned into a maniacal warship that's trying to destroy the universe and me with it. Can't help, Tom. Hey, buddy. Look a little rough there. I must destroy Sarah before... destroys all living. Yeah, you said that. But how? I don't know where to begin on this future vindication. I don't even know how I got here. Stole power from ship, from new Sarah. Boosted matter transponder to send me back to your time. Right. Of course. The real you is in my time with my Sarah. And because matter can't occupy the same space at the same time, I was sent here. So lucky. But wait, why did you need to go to my time? Unless... To blow up Sarah and the Vindication before we become evil. Evil. Okay, but the point is, if I can fix things here first, you don't need to hurt Sarah in my time, right? How much time do I have? Timer set to detonate 24 hours. But time is relative, of course. Maybe I should have been writing some of this down. sadder. And I've switched places with your Tom. Hopefully temporarily. In the meantime, I need you to open this door. Why are you trying to destroy the drive core? What are you planning? Well, that's a long story. But we have a little time, so here goes. If this doesn't reveal a vulnerability, we're screwed. Systems. What? That shouldn't happen. Unless... Intelligence or whatever that affected her from the nebula really sucks. Oh, do it now. Save universe. What if we tap the auxiliary nav computer in the game room, fudge the numbers a little, and fly her into that star? Then I zap out of here, right? Wrong. Sarah? Crap, crap, crap. Sarah? Is that you? Man, it's a relief to hear your. Though you are not organic life, QM. You stand in the way of purging the universe of viral organisms. In order to proceed as planned, TOM must be eliminated.
Evo become such a monster in the future? It's not your fault, Sarah. The alien intelligence we picked up in the nebula changed you, forced you into a path of destruction. I would rather die than be responsible for so much suffering and destruction. I'll provide full access to my systems and the drive core to ensure I never harm another soul. This is a precaution, Sarah. This you is great. And hopefully your Tom can save us all. yours. It always has been, you know. I mean, I don't want to go back to the way it was. With just me. I'll give my life for yours any day of the week, Sarah. Especially to keep you from becoming... this. Tom? Is that you? Sarah? My Sarah? Tom. Thank you. For everything. Wait. What are you doing? I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. This is goodbye. Did you save the future? I think you did. Tom, what's happening? For the first time ever, I feel afraid. You know me better than anyone. I'm not a monster. No. Sometimes you have a questionable sense of humor, but you're no monster. You'll always be my best friend, Sarah. No matter what happens, we'll have each other till our final days. I think that's funny. You might already be under the influence of an alien intelligence. Too soon, Tom. Too soon. Remember when I said I'd give my life for you? Nope. You didn't say that yet. Well, you just didn't hear it yet. I just heard it. Good. I'm glad. Nice to have you home, Tom. Good to be here. Even if I am a little worse for wear. Shh. <laughs>